Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're in American Truck Simulator and we are having a look at the brand new uh, Scania Series 4 top line. Well, it's not the brand new, but anyway, we're having a look at the um, Scania Series top line. So let's jump into the configuration to check it out. Now, uh, here it's uh, very interesting. In the actual cabins, you can get a few cabins here to choose from. So normal top line uh, for BDF, top line, and top line for low deck. Alright, so, now, uh, since there's a few, you can actually have this in the weekly drive because it will tow trailers, but today we're going to take a look at what it looks like with the actual, um, uh, with, with an actual uh, different chassis on there, the normal. So there's the 6x2, 4x2, 644. 6-2 with color, 6-4-2, uh, 6-4-4, mid lift, 6-2 tag lift, 6-2 color tag lift, 6-4-4 color mid lift, uh, there's the low deck, low deck color, 8-4, uh, 6 by 2 BDF, uh, there's the 644 BDF. There's the 644 BDF mid lift. It says mid lift, but it looks like ta uh, tag lift to me, the actual tail lift. Uh, then we have a 6x2 BDF color, 6x2 BDF tag lift, a 6x2 BDF color tag lift. So there's a whole heap here 6x44 BDF color, 6x44 BDF color mid lift, and 8x4 color. Now, I'm going to run this one around the track today, but I will show you that if you go and choose, for example, the 6x4 BDF, you can go into here and you can add on a whole heap of different things. So, you know, that'll actually allow you to, to get, a, you know, to, um, to do heaps of stuff. So, um, that is the cattle trailer there. Now this is the original one that we uh, saw ages ago, but um, it, I wasn't too impressed with it then. But uh, it looks like since then it is really improved. So uh, now we're going to the engines, and there is a wide array of engines. Now the difference being between these two here is just the color of the grill on the front. So uh, we've got the one one four three forty horsepower, uh, three sixty. Now these all go all the way down to five eighty V eight. So we'll put on the Mighty V8 to give that a test. And then we have the uh, transmission. We have the OptiCruise GRSO 925 and the GRSO 925R. We'll put on the one with the retarder. The interior is only for the left-hand drive. So we've got standard, uh, we've got standard, standard silver, standard wood, and exclusive. Uh, I'm going to chuck on standard silver, I think. And then for the exterior, the paint work, we have a whole heap of different paint jobs to choose from. Um, now this one here, you can actually change four of the different colors. Let's go and it is a bit hard. It depends on your configuration to how that's gonna change the coloring. No, that doesn't do it. So you just gotta play around with it to find it. Uh, there's look, there's a heaps to actually go through. There's the V8 one. There we go. Um, so yeah, there's heaps to go through here, guys. On top of the whole heap of standard colours as well, as well. So uh, there's skin two. I've noticed that some of these aren't actually showing up properly. So I'm wondering if that's just a bit of an error on the the um, creator side so I don't know uh, so deep ocean perfect white Scorpio red then we've got oversized sign which I can't see that but anyway there's a uh, stock acacia green Scania V8 see it's just coming up with white colors you're missing half of the actual the skin which is a worry 
uh, dark metallic red, there's blue, there's uh, crimson red, there's poached ivory, there is that one there, and custom color, which will allow you to choose any custom color that you want. And there's flames. As you can see, you can't see the flames. So I'm wondering where they are and what's happened to them. And there's also a custom metallic color as well. So the metallics do work very nice on this. Let's see if we can get that better for you. Oh, they see they were working on another version of this that I tried before, but it's not working now. Wow, so I was actually trying before the top line for BDF. Now let's go back to custom metallic color. Now there's there's one color. Oh that is so weird. Now it's not working. That is really weird. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah, that is very strange. And to these cust these metallics here, they look like they're working. So I'm not sure, but that's very strange indeed as to why that's not working. Black and silver looks awesome, doesn't it? I like how he's actually done the, the stickers. See, that's not working. Huh. That's weird. Well, anyway, we're going to continue with this one. Then we go over to the accessories. And then we have down the bottom here, we have some Scania mud flaps or steer halt. I'm going to go to Scania ones. And then we can have a whole heap of lights. So you can go crazy here with lights if you want. We're not going to do that now because it does take way too long. Over here there's some little uh, guides, oversized guides. See, big ones, big ones, small ones and medium ones. And then there is some more lights as well. Uh, however, one thing I've noticed is they do not fit with this with this tandem, uh, the, the one that I have here, the, the chassis I have. So it looks a bit funny. Now, um, over here we've got oh that's the box on the side there see the steps so there they're actually changing colors that's uh, just some uh, area for some signs so you can go and put a whole heap of signs in there or whatnot TIR you know plate U whatever and it's the same thing for here as well. You can go and put TIR plates, whatever, and there also. Now, just over here is some more lights. You can chuck more lights up and down there, as you can see. And right here is like your oversized wide load, wide, you know, oversized load, blah, 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 that sort of thing. And there is the actual super. It's got the super logo on there. That's pretty cool. That was the lights. And there is the actual uh, lights again. You can uh, add some more lights on there. Pretty sure we saw that one, but anyway. That's that box on the back. Yes, that's that sign. Just making sure that I've got everything. Um, that's accessories on the inside accessories on the inside so it allows you to put Scania on there and there's there's Helga so you can't really see that too well now we'll just I'll just try and skip this for a bit just making sure that uh, that adds Kurt uh, sorry that adds uh, see the Scania to the paint there that is really cool I like that a lot there's some curtains in there. Hey, yellow and blue curtains, why not? And that is, you know, the little wind deflector on the side there. That is a, a we'll have a look at this inside, but it's a curtain that hangs down. It looks pretty ugly, but anyway. 
Uh, now, that is logo on the back there. So as you can see, just here, you can see that there's a logo that you can put in there. V8 or Scania or whatnot, whatever you want in there. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to go for that one there. That bear, I don't think you can take that bear out. I think he's permanently stuck there. And... Oh, yeah, that's those things. Um, oh, yeah, that's the curtains. Right, moving up. You can change a nameplate on top of this up here, but the problem is, is it's being covered by the actual bacon is it yeah bacon so we'll just take that off um, that changes the you can see there that'll change the light box so you can make your own customized light box by going to vehicle so opening the mod and opening uh, then you're going to vehicle truck upgrade 124 light box DDS see very simple there's Scania, that looks pretty cool on this truck. Definitely going with that one there. So I wonder if you can actually take that away. No, it still has that there. So uh, yeah, that doesn't work. There we go, that's what we want. Now up the top here, that is the light, so interior. So you got blue, green, orange, pink, purple, red. Let's go purple, why not? Heaps of different colors in there. Now, just up there is the light rack, but we've already got a light rack. So there's no point, but you can go and put on a whole heap of different lights there. There we have um, the beacon light, which we can put space or whatever. Horns, you've got a horns accessory, which is really cool. Is that fitting there properly? Yes, it is. There we go. So you can go and put whatever you want on there. That is really, really nice. I like that idea. And see how it's strapped to the side as well? It doesn't actually... Uh... Oh, hang on. Oh, that must be on the inside. Oh, it's putting it underneath. Oh, silly. Sorry, I thought it had strapped it to the side there. Silly me. Never mind, so that's on the outside. Down here, the, the um, that's that box thing again. Damn box. And then we go to tires. There's a few different tires that have been added in here. Like low deck tires. Um, I am just going to put on the standard tires for this. Uh, so we'll just leave it on Dynamax. Dynamix. Now the rims. Uh, standard rims in here, so we're going to go standard chrome, chrome nuts, and I'll just leave that the way it is. Dynamics tires and chrome rims, nuts, paint your nuts chrome, and there we go, that's it. So, again, on the back, standard tires, Dynamics, and chrome rims. Paint your nuts chrome. So you, if you can see it there, it's a bit hard. It might there we go. It might be a bit better on this one here. Standard. Paint your nuts chrome, and then a cover. You can put whatever you want on there, or just leave it. Or I think sometimes it looks really good if you just leave it. Right now, around back around to here. Uh, it says tower. Now that is at the back there. See how it's gone in the back? It's added a whole heap of stuff that you can put in the back. Uh, with the cattle there, that might be a bit of a problem, but anyway. Uh, there's a laptop for inside. There's cigarettes. Phone. Heaps of stuff in there. So that's mainly on the inside. Going around here. The only other thing that is there is the side mirror, which you can take off if you want.
That is logo. Oh, that's the logo on the back of the truck. I didn't see anywhere for the mirrors to be changed. So let's jump on the inside and check it out. I do apologize again if I've missed anything. There, it, it does get a bit confusing with the dots. So let's see, uh, there's plastic or paint. We're gonna go paint for the mirrors and there's a GPS you can add in there. That is a phone you can add there. Another GPS if you want. If GPS is everywhere. So cigarettes or you know your wallet or whatever you want. Book. See, so there's changing the color. Uh, I don't think that one suits. Probably that one there would be better. There's a laptop you can put on there. And that is, that's a Scania logo thing there, so you can take that out. There you go. There's Helga. Hi, Helga. And... There we go, so that'll change those curtains, so you can go yellow, yellow and blue, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I personally think they look ugly, those ones. Up the top here, you can add some flags, you can add V8 symbol, or, you know, whatever you want there. Any one of those, we'll put the V8 there. That is the flags. Uh, sorry, not the flags, the curtain. Uh, I don't like it, taking it out. Uh, that there, you can take off or put on. Uh, that's for the, you know, the side bits there. Up the top here is like a, a radio and there's a CB channel 19 over here that is oh that's a stupid curtain sorry um oh that's yeah 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 sorry we've done those we've done these right so it looks like that's pretty much everything um just having a look in the back here as you can see it looks pretty cool but there's some teddy bear in the back there don't know what the go is with that. Looks a bit creepy to me. So let's go confirm. That doesn't look too bad, does it? And do a trade in on the last mod. There we go. And let's check out what how long it takes to load. So will it take a while to load or will, no? That was quick, very quick. So let's see. See, it looks quite nice. I actually like the, the chrome with the black. I think it looks very good. Very nice indeed. A lot of little chrome pieces. That chrome is actually a bit blinding, to be honest. A bit too much. Alright, so let's jump on the outside. Wow, that is blinding, isn't it? And let's start her up. Hang on a second. Let's start her up. Right, that sounds pretty cool. Right, okay, nice. Now, lights. Hang on, let me put the brake on. There we go. Lights working. Maybe not today. Try that again. Oh, there we go. Oh, for some reason, they weren't working. All right, high beams. High beams. There we go, high beams. Let's turn on the actual uh, front auxiliary. There we go, they're working. Now wipers, can't see any wipers, no wipers, very strange. Horn, no horn.
<laughs> That's a very strange horn, that is. Um, wipers. No wipers at all. That is strange, isn't it? No wipers. No standard horn, only air horn. Right, that's weird. Uh, I think that's just stand. No, that's standard horn. For some reason, it's not working over here. Oh, well, never mind. Um, what else? Indicators. There we go. There's indicators. Sorry, wrong button. Flashes. We need flashes. And yeah, they're working. Oh yeah, look at that. The brake and flashes are in one. That's pretty cool. Right. That is really, really good. Now, um, let's go and take it for a driver. Jump in. Hang on. I just got to do the turn. I turn the flat uh, indicator off. There we go. Damn indicator. All right. Um, now, what was I going to do? Uh, where's the interior that it display there we go all oh, right changes over there and it doesn't crash that is great that is awesome right is oh something tells me my controls are stuffed up again for some reason I don't know why but it seems to happen and it's weird so let me quickly configure this because for some strange reason my controls play up every now and then oh no it was in the other one over here so sorry about this guys no see that's actually all right there we go and Shift the position. Oh dear, that is terrible. I have to do the import wizard quickly. Uh, let's see, controllers, H shifter, and range, advanced. Okay, next, 18 speed transmission, and then next finish it's weird how it does this sometimes just every now and then it'll just stop working toggle one toggle two there we go right not still doing it why is it doing that that is weird well, I don't know, maybe that's an actual problem that I have to have a look at. But let's go and take this for a drive. I don't know why it's actually doing that. At least we got reverse. Oh, and my actual trailer brake, the brake's on, so. There we go. Brake's on, okay. There we go, get into damn gear. Now, we have to actually take this on to the test track. So this is going to be interesting. We've never had a Torton sort of trailer or tr a truck like this going on the test track. So it's going to be very, very interesting. So let's see, we take it over to the track. Oops, hang on, I missed the track. I'm going out in the road, aren't I, by accident. I thought I was in the Peterbilt dealer for a second there. Alright. Okay, so away we go. So starting off, here we go. Are we ready? So three, two, one, 
go. Now, down the bottom you will be able to see a timer when I actually edit this, and it will show you the actual time that this truck will take to get through here, that I can get it through here anyway. So here comes Bonza. We're going over Bonza now. Oh man, this is roughing up this truck. This track is designed by Rick Peepee and he's actually made this so that uh, it will test the trucks to its fullest. And this certainly does test its trucks to the fullest because as you've seen in other tests, oh man, that is really roughing the truck up. Uh, this will actually uh, cause a lot of problems, this. Now we're coming up to, oh man, I nearly hit the sign. Uh, I like to call this the uh, the titty twister, and oh, 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 gee, we nearly went off then, that was very close, coming down to the actual off-road, and then the sand trap, here's the sand trap, now we're going up Dunny Hill, Dunny Climb, oh, oh, it's not liking Dunny Climb, and oh, we made it over the top. Wow, that was not liking that at all. We're going to see uh, how fast this truck can go now down the straight and as we come to the cereal bowl. And we're going to see if we can go around this corner. Will it take us around this corner without toppling? Oh, 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 the truck is not liking it one little bit. The cereal bowl is giving it a lot of problems. So this is very interesting. Coming up to here and we have to slow down here, but otherwise we will get, this is two up, we will get thrown about and we will have a lot of problems there around two up. That is the perfect spot there for two up. And coming around, we did nearly go off the track there the cattle grid and then coming around to these twisty turns the snake well I think it should be called the snake pit this because it is the twisty turny section that likes to test it well not that well not that part anyway but this here is the actual it's a watery section and it is a bit it, it does actually cover the wheels and it is dirt as well, so that makes it interesting. Whee! Now this this here is designed to tip the truck over and um, it didn't do that, so that is good. But it is very, I'm having a bit of trouble getting through these turns here. Oh man, come on. It is it is really a lot of work. Ah, there we go. Going through these turns very hard. Now coming up to the last section here. And there we go. Stop. There we go. So that is where the that's where it ends up. So wow. There we go. So this is the, that's we've actually taken the Scania around the test track to see how it handles. And there we go. So that is the uh, Scania taken around the test track. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So what do you think, guys? Is this a truck that you'd like to see on the weekly drive? Uh, if you'd like to see this on the weekly drive, then in the comments below say yes. I'd like to see this in the weekly drive. If you don't want to see this in the weekly drive, then say no, I don't want to see this in the weekly drive. Uh, if you'd like to download this and try it for yourself, the mods that I've used today are in the in the description below, so you can check them out there. Now, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget, the key to uh, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel, where you can check out uh, a whole heap of mod reviews for Euro Truck Simulator 2, American Truck Simulator, uh, there is spin tires, there is farming simulator, there's heaps and heaps and heaps of mods in there. Not just mods, but also other videos as well that we do. Forza Horizon 3, and that'll, it'll keep you busy. There's over 1,400 videos to watch, guys, so make sure you check it out. 
But that's it for me, guys. Keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we're doing American Truck Simulator starting from scratch, and we're using the Kenworth K200. Just down there, it's American Truck Simulator Mod Review for the Freightliner Classic XL. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!